I'm Michelle Dion in the Department of Political Science. I'm an assistant professor and I teach courses on the politics of public policy and politics of the developing world and at the graduate level statistics and comparative public policy. I'm interested in understanding the politics of social policy in the developing world, so pensions, health care, social assistance, and why some countries have more generous or more extensive uh, social benefits for people than other countries, particularly in Latin America. And so my more recent work has been on Mexico and uh, trying to understand the politics behind the development of a fairly extensive for the developing world welfare state, at least for workers that have formal sector jobs in Mexico. So I'm starting a new project now, funded by the SHRC, that uh, it aims to expand my earlier efforts to understand the politics of social policy in Mexico to a broader uh, cross-section of countries in Latin America. So I am interested in understanding the way that different types of economies and different types of organizations of workers lead to different configurations or types of social policies being adopted for the people. I like to get students interested in current events and what's going on in the world. A, a lot of times students are so busy with their studies they don't keep up with, going, with, with what's going on in the world and they don't have time to read the newspaper or keep up with current events. And so I try to get them to do so, and one way that I've found you can is by encouraging them to become bloggers. And so the idea is to uh, encourage students to become like investigative reporters and to read widely, to think about the issues that are in the media more critically, reflect upon them, and incorporate the insights they've learned in class into an analysis of the current events that they're reading about, to become more critical consumers of whatever type of media it happens to be. As professors, we have a lot of technical knowledge that we can distill down to kind of key concepts, ideas, tools for students, give those tools to students, and teach students how to use those tools themselves to understand the world around them. And in that way, I hope to stimulate students' interest in the developing world, but also enable them to see that the material that we learn in the class and that is covered in the textbook isn't just academic. It's real world. It's happening right now. And it's affecting people's everyday lives in the countries in the developing world.